The materials I used for this experiment were vinegar, baking soda, vegetable oil, food coloring, cold water, and a jar. Alternatively, you can also create the reaction with cold water and antacids such as Alka-Seltzer. However, since these materials are generally more accessible, I decided to use these. First, I added a few tablespoons of baking powder into the tall jar. I filled it with approximately a quarter of cold water. I added a drop of food coloring and gave the mixture a swirl. I poured in the cooking oil until the jar was about 3 quarters full. I put in a tablespoon or so of vinegar and let the magic happen. This project actually shows a few important concepts that we've learned in chemistry. The first of which is quite simple, and that is the polarity of molecules. Here, we added cold water. Water molecules are polar, meaning that they are positively charged on one end and negatively charged on the other hand. This means that they have hydrogen bonding between molecules. So this helps water molecules stick together. The other liquid that we added in the lava lamp is nonpolar, which is Oil. This means that it has no charge and is not attracted to the water at all, and hence they do not mix. The second thing we can see from this simple experiment is an endothermic reaction. Let's examine the reactants that we have at hand. If you recall, we've added vinegar and baking soda into the mixture. Vinegar is dilute acetic acid, and baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. When you add them together, they produce carbon dioxide, liquid water, as well as sodium acetate. This is the reason why you can see bubbles floating up in the mixture when you add vinegar into the baking soda. That is carbon dioxide gas. The jar is hence cold to the touch. The last key takeaway from this experiment is density. This explains the quote-unquote lava phenomenon that we see. As you can recall, the reaction produces carbon dioxide. This gas bubbles back out of the water and up through the oil, so it sometimes carries globules of bubbly colored water with it. When these bubbles pop at the surface, any water they carry will sink again because they are more dense towards the bottom, where if you recall, the endothermic reaction causes the substances at the bottom to be less dense. These two produce the lava effect when they happen in sink.